Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from Sound for More Italy speaking. Today I'm going to show you how you can record MIDI, which is generated from an AUV3 MIDI processor inside Drumbo to a clip inside Drumbo. Okay, before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, let's start. Before the MIDI uh, to CV, we are going to add a MIDI processor and we're going to choose uh, this one, oh, sorry, the M M audio MIDI uh, processor. So we're going to choose that one. Okay, and we are going to choose Core Bud 2. We create a chord progression, something like this, and let's make this uh, floating window, like so, and then for each chord, why not? Let's split it so we have um, a little bit more movement, like so. And by the way, I recommend that you get Code Bud 2 because it's a fantastic app. Okay, so we have done. So let's increase the number of voices to six, and then let's add a generator. So we choose, uh, why not, the FM operator. We just change the feedback, we give it a bit of sustain, and we click play. Okay, let's uh, stop um, that. Let's change also the velocity here um, a little bit um, lower, something like that um, for each chord. So, like so, why not? Perfect. Okay, so let's try again. Okay. Right, let's add a mixer now because I want to add another instrument and let's take that output from the first FM operator. And then actually let's add um, something like a reverb to make it more interesting. Perfect. Before the mixer, we are going to add now another MIDI uni processor. Like so, we're going to choose a uh, ARP Bud 2. Now, this will be driven by chord bud 2. So it will take the chords and then it will play the intervals like you see now, like so. And we can change also to the octave that are being played like so. Okay. Then, and you can see the connection here is already established with chord bud 2. Next, we add another FM operator. Why not? There it is. And the connection is already done. We're going to change um, something like that. We're going to play, uh, take the output from the second FM operator. Let's click play. And the reason that it doesn't play is because um, you need to add another MIDI to CV here. Okay between the FM operator 2 and the iPod 2. Perfect. Now, let's say that I want to record that nice ARP bud 2 melody the, or arpeggio that is being created from chord bud 2, the progression that we initially created. And we want to record that inside a clip, so down here. How do you do that? Well, uh, currently, um, Drumbo will not support the redirection of a MIDI output inside itself, and I'm using Drumbo as a standalone version. So you need to use a trick um, for that. So what are we going to do? Well, okay, we are going to add an uh, audio unit from a generator here, and um, and we are going to choose Drumbo. So we're going to include Drumbo inside Drumbo. Now inside here, we are going to click record. Okay. We are going to ensure that um, this takes the connection from our part two, which is great, is doing that. And let's click play. Now you don't hear anything, but you can see that it is recording what is coming from our part two inside that Drumbo instance. When you finish, 
click play, click and drag from the clip inside Drumbo as a UV3 inside the Drumbo stand alone um, up, and there you are. You have recorded now that um, melody from our part two inside a clip. If you click on the piano row, okay, you will highlight all of these and I select the um, select tool and there you are. You have uh, the melody there, which has been recorded uh, directly and copy and paste it into or drag it and drop into a clip. Okay, I hope you enjoy. See you in the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye.